bored in the house and I'm in the house bored bored in the house and I'm in the house bored hey YouTube fam welcome back to my channel my name is Alyssa Marie just in case you are new today we are playing around with some makeup so y'all know that I love love makeup like I am definitely obsessed with makeup but I am very minimalistic when it comes to makeup. Don't get me wrong, I love my little glam moments, I love my little pop of color moments every once in a while, but in terms of like what I do on the regular and like my preference on what I like to see on myself, it is definitely a more natural, minimalistic kind of look. So today I'm showing you guys exactly how I achieve this glossy, glowy type look that is just really my signature look. This is my go-to. This is what I love. Before we jump straight in, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. It really helps me out and I know you're not about to sit here and not subscribe to my channel, right? Thank you so much and now let's get started. All right, so let's just jump straight in. I'm a little bit closer to the camera so you guys can see all the action that is going on. So let's just jump in and get started. I always, always start off my makeup looks with a primer. I just find that it makes my foundation a lot more comfortable to wear. I do also really like a more dewy natural finish as opposed to like a matte finish. I find that dewy natural is also, again, a lot more comfortable to wear as opposed to matte. And don't get me wrong, I love matte finishes. Like they're beautiful to look at and stuff, but when it comes to my minimalistic kind of like everyday comfortable look I'm definitely going for a natural dewy finish so a primer that I've currently been obsessed with lately is the Wonder Glow by Charlotte Tilbury I also like to use this in conjunction with the Charlotte Tilbury foundation which I will be using today so that's another reason why I chose this so I actually really like this primer like when you look at it here let's see if I can get a nice little view for y'all can you see that so I don't know if you can see in the camera but it's like a, a I don't know, it's like a tan kind of color, but it's very transparent and just kind of smooths into your skin once you put it on. And it has teeny little speckles of, I don't wanna say glitter, cause this definitely doesn't make you look glittery, but like speckles of glow, can I say that? Just glow, it's glowy. When it goes on, this just feels like moisturizer. It feels good, it has a nice little smell. All right, so you can see like a nice little healthy and natural looking glow. This is always how I like my skin to look when I'm starting off my makeup for like a dewy, glowy look. All right, and then while this is kind of just soaking into the skin, I'm gonna go ahead and jump to brows. So I'm using the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP in the shade Soft Black. This is so bomb. I really, really love this. I love the color payoff from these pencils. Now for my minimalistic look, I just use a pencil and that's it. If you guys are interested in seeing more of an in-depth tutorial on how I like to snatch my brows for like flawless, perfect brows, like you know those glam brows that are just like slay to the gods? I did a tutorial on that and it's on my Instagram on IGTV so you guys can go check that out as well. So for my brows, I always start by outlining them on the outsides first. I usually like to start with the bottom and towards the inner side of my eyebrow, I use really, really lightweight pressure and then as we go back to the tail end, I'm using slightly heavier pressure. For my minimalistic look, I really like for my brows to look really nice and sculpted but at the same time, I like for them to look very natural. So by using a lightweight pressure towards the inside, it keeps the inside Side looking very light and then towards the tail end we get a little bit darker because that's naturally how brows look anyway Ta -da! so we got one brow done as you can see like it really makes a huge difference to my face I naturally have very sparse brows so I really always have to add to them to make them pop a little bit you know all right boom I'm definitely happy with these I don't even think I'm gonna go ahead and do any concealer today so next, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some clear brow gel. The one that I like to use is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Because I like applying my brows first, I like to go in with a clear brow gel to make sure that they don't move while we're doing the rest of our face. So moving right along, and now I'm gonna go and grab my foundation. I have been absolutely loving the Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. I wear the shade 9 Cool, which is a bit funny because I'm definitely not a cool, complexion I'm definitely more warm tone but in Sephora they were actually telling me that they think they named these all the way wrong but nine cool is definitely my current complexion it is a little bit lighter than usual but since moving to Atlanta and also being quarantined inside I have definitely gone a lot paler so this is now 100% perfect for me so I really like this foundation because it kind of just like sinks into your skin and just looks completely flawless it does have a natural finish and it is just so beautiful and not only beautiful to look at but also very comfortable to wear like that is super important to me when it comes to foundation for sure so i've been really really happy with this one lately oh and by the way this is one of my favorite 
favorite, favorite, like all time favorite buffing brushes ever. It's by It Cosmetics. I don't know the name of it because by now it's completely brushed off, but just look up It Cosmetics buffing brush and it looks something like this. It actually looks a little bit more like this when it's brand new, but it's so, so good. You can definitely pick this up at Ulta. I'm actually gonna go in and put a little bit more around my mouth. This is where I have like the most discoloration on my face. So sometimes I will go in and do like a little second layer just right here. All right, on to the next one. All right, so next I'm gonna grab my concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my under eyes and all the other high points of my face, basically going along this way. I've really been loving the Flex Concealer by Milk Makeup lately, and I wear the shade Medium Beige. So I know I keep mentioning how important it is for something to be comfortable to wear. I'm also very picky when it comes to my concealers. So my under eyes can tend to be a little bit on the drier side. I like to use concealers that are, again, more of a natural finish in order to be more comfortable to wear. So that's why I've really been loving this concealer. I also love the way that this color just goes so well with the color of the foundation. Like it's not too bright of a highlight, it's not too crazy, but at the same time it still brightens and gets the job done. So see what I mean? It's got like a little brightening happening, but it's a very, very like subtle brightening. It's not like boom, bam, like super light concealer. I don't really like to do that. So I like to keep it a little subtle, natural looking, and minimalistic. That's the theme for today. All right, so next up, I am going to grab my Holy Grail face powder. Again, I'm gonna say it one more time for this video. I need a powder that's gonna be very comfortable to wear. My skin can be a little bit picky when it comes to powder. I do have combination skin, but if I use too much, my skin will just completely go dry and cakey, and ain't nobody like that. But the one powder that doesn't do this to me is a Cover FX Matte Setting Powder. I use the shade Medium, and it is so bomb. I'm just going in with this angled powdered brush. This is by Morphe. Brush name is definitely wiped off at this stage, but I do understand that these are discontinued anyway. I've had these for a really long time. I'm sorry guys, but Morphe does in general have really bomb makeup brushes and they're super affordable. I'm gonna dig a little bit in here. I always cap off the excess before I actually put this on my face. So I like to concentrate the majority of powder underneath my eyes since that's where we put most of the concealer. I also like to do this to avoid any creasing under the eyes. And as you can see, I don't really like to bake. Instead, I kind of just like to push the powder into the skin as I go along and do it that way. I find that baking is way too drying for me. I'm making sure to focus on areas of my face that get a little bit more shiny than others. So that would be like my nose and the center of my forehead. All right, so now we're powdered. And as you guys can see, the dewiness and the natural finish has kind of been toned down a little bit, but the thing I like about this powder, it's not like overly done or overly matte. So this is how I get my little balance. Like I said, I like a neutral dewy finish. So I like to do natural and dewy when it comes to primer and foundation, and then I'll balance it out a little bit with a matte setting powder, so that way it's not like overly dewy and like shiny and greasy. All right, so moving right along, and now I'm gonna pick up my bronzer. Now the best bronzers on the planet right now are by Fenty Beauty, and it's no secret that Fenty is one of my favorite makeup companies in general. They just have the best of the best always. And one of my favorite products of theirs is their bronzers. I really love them because this is the first time I was able to find a bronzer that wasn't too red for me. Like I found a lot of makeup brands created bronzers that were my color, but way too red. And if it was a bronzer that wasn't red, then it was too light for me, you know? So I really struggled to find the perfect bronzer and I really have found it now. Thank you, Riri, I love you. So I was using Coco Naughty when I was back in the Cayman Islands, but again, because I've been now in Atlanta, inside, in quarantine, all of the above, I'm definitely a little bit lighter, so I've been using Caramel Cutie, which is one shade up, and it is so perfect. It's a very warm, yellow toned brown, and it's just, oh, honestly, so delicious for like medium tan skin tones. Look at that. <sighs> Gotta warm up the cheekbones too so we can get those nice and defined. Again, very subtle, nothing too crazy, but just adding like the right amount of color and dimension and warmth back into my face. But we're not done with the bronzer yet. I just like to go in with my bronzer on my eyelids and this just basically does the same thing that we did to our entire face. So just add some warmth and give us a little bit more dimension. 
So I'm really just gonna focus the majority of products on the outside of my eyes and then kind of swipe it across my crease and that's really it. Okay, so before I do the other eye, you guys can see the huge difference right here. Snatched, plain. And it's just a very simple, easy swipe, swipe, and that's it. Simple but effective. That is the whole theme of this entire look. All right, so moving right along, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up these eyes by using a little bit of mascara. My current favorite is the Man Eater Mascara by Tarte Cosmetics. But the thing about my lashes are they are super straight. They don't even have one little teensy bit of a curl at all. So the reason why I love this is because this gets my lashes to curl up the most. Out of any and all mascaras that I have ever used to this point, this is the best one so far for that curling and like voluminous kind of effect. It just, it gives me lashes and I love it. I like to apply the mascara with my head tilted really far back because that helps to encourage more lash curl. All right, and then once I'm finished applying all the mascara, I always like to go in with my fingers and kind of push my lashes upwards. This really helps my lashes to curl even more. I don't like to use eyelash curlers. They scare me a little bit, so I just do this instead. Well, would you look at that? Your girl has eyelashes. All right, so now that the eyes are all done, let's get into some blush. I love me some blush. I feel like it just adds like, I don't know, something special to the face and it brings everything all together. Lately, I've been obsessing over cream blush in general. I love the consistency of cream blush because it just starts to add more to that dewy effect that I am oh so obsessed with. And I find that it just looks more natural when you use cream blush. So lately, I've really been obsessing over the Ilia Color Haze Multi Matte Pigment. This is the shade Stutter. It is so so gorgeous so it just kind of so it just comes out of the top like that just as a cream so then i just put it on one finger rub my fingers together and then i apply with my fingers so as you can see i'm applying the blush like bit by bit so i'm using the product finger so like do two dabs and then I'm using a separate finger, clean finger, to then just dab that into the skin. And then as you need more products, going back in with the product finger and then back with a clean finger to smooth it out. Look at that juicy beautifulness. It's just like a healthy little flush. This is probably my favorite type of product for spring and summer. Like cream blush is amazing. As y'all know, Fenty just came out with a huge launch of cream blushes. So y'all know I'm gonna be trying those out. And I will most likely do like a review or a makeup tutorial with those on Instagram. All right, so we're almost done with the cheeks, but we still got one more step. So I wanna add a little bit more dewy glowiness to my cheeks without actually using powder highlighter. I don't know, I've just been using powder highlighter a lot less and using more creamy, dewy products instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and reach for my Ciate London Dewy Stick. So this is exactly what it says it is. It's literally just a dewy stick. It doesn't really have any pigment or any glitter in it. It's literally, let me show y'all, you rub it on and it's kind of like a stick form of Vaseline almost in a way, not as heavy as Vaseline, but it's really, really nice. It just gives like a natural little glow. Can you see that right there? Not even like a glow, like a dewy kind of finish. Now for something like this, you don't want to go ahead and apply it directly to your skin after you've just beat your face because this can have a tendency to kind of like rub away whatever's underneath. So instead, I'm just going to rub like a good amount of it on my hand. Then I'll just grab my beauty blender to pick up the product and then we'll use that to apply it. I actually saw Alyssa Ashley applying it this way in one of her IG lives, so I was like, oh, that's actually a really interesting way to try and apply it. Do you see that? Do, oh. Do you see that? Look at the difference between here and here. Like, it's just a healthy, natural dewiness. Like, oh. I love it. I'm obsessed. All right, and then for the very last step, let's go in and do something with these lips. I said earlier that Fenty Beauty is one of my favorite makeup brands. My all-time favorite product of theirs, like of all time, of all of their products, my ultimate favorite is their Gloss Balm. It's so, so good. I've just been so obsessed with glossy lips ever since they launched like a whole bunch of different colors. And it's just life-changing a little bit. So before we actually apply the Gloss Balm, I'm actually gonna go ahead and wipe off any foundation that was sitting on my lips. And so in this case, I'm just using my natural lip color to be like my lip liner. And then I'm just gonna grab the clear gloss balm, which is called Glass Slipper. So here is the final look. I am living 
for this look. Dewy and glossy is all 100% me. All right, so that is it for this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed filming it for you. If you guys are gonna go ahead and recreate this look, comment below, let me know, and make sure you tag me in all of your photos and your videos on here and also on Instagram. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and while you're doing that, you can also check out two more videos. Catch you in the next one. Love y'all. Bye.